So today is um, new sofa day and I'm here on my own on the boat with the cats. So we've been sent off to receive delivery of the new sofa today. I have my assembly instructions here so I'm going to try my best to assemble with the help of two rather cross cats. So the first thing for me to do is to uh, assemble the frame. So I'm just going to do that now. Um, apparently once I assemble the frame then I attach the material to it, put my cushions on and then I'm done. It should be, apparently it should take a couple of hours, about an hour or so to assemble. We bought a medium two seat sofa. Um, and we've marked out the space on the floor where it's gonna go to get an idea of whether it's gonna fit. So it'll be really interesting to see if it actually matches up with the marked space. Um, see how I get on. So the first thing for me to do is to uh, assemble the frame. So I'm just going to do that now. Um, apparently once I assemble the frame then I attach the material to it. So I now have I now have four of these that go in between the frame to hold it together. So I'm going to put them on next. To attach the um, foam onto the to the frame, there is some double-sided sticky tape on the front panel, which the instructions tell me to remove. So I'm doing that now. So there's a, oh no, I've put the rear foam on the front foam, haven't I? Oh no. Hopefully it hasn't stuck on. She says. That's what the clear tape, the tape was for. Assuming that this is the cover.
so it came loose as well. Um, as you can see down there, um, I haven't done a very good job of my velcroing, but I'm going to go back and revisit that. It's it's really, um, I'm finding it really hard. You can't get a grip on the material, so um, my hands are a bit sore. So there's a bit of looseness in the cushion here as well, and but you know this arms you know, looks looks fine. Um, I'm quite pleased with it so far. I'm just going to power on through now and finish off the bases. All I've got left to do at this point is to put the base in with the base cushion because that has a similar design to the back. the partially assembled sofa. I've attached the arms now and the seat backs. So the seat backs was a piece of MDF so they came, um, the foam came in these covers and then you just have to slot the MDF board in and it slotted in down the bottom there which was a lot easier than putting the covers on the arms. Great mama sons. to ensure that both cars are necessary. Okay. Here's the finished sofa. Um, I had a couple of problems towards when I was just sliding it back into the gunnel or under the gunnel, uh, namely um, this wood. Uh, at the beginning of the video I mentioned that I was really interested to see whether the sofa would fit up with the measurements that we did and here's the white line that we put in and it fits perfectly. So the sofa is now finished and I'm having a well deserved rest sitting on it. Um, it was a little bit hard work to do. Um, the main problem I had was putting the covers onto the, to the frame because obviously the, the material is quite made to measure. The sofa is quite comfortable to sit on. Me and Munchie have, have had a little, little sit on it together. If you have any comments or questions that you would like to ask about anything then leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Thanks very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and subscribe if you want to get notified when we um, upload more videos. <laughs>